toss it up and we are underway the eighth annual veterans classic between richmond and utah state pull out there so they made utah state pay on that possession there by doubling Bean trying to answer and he does which, by the way golden with his rebounds in this first half has now reached 800 rebounds for his career, and he can can the three with the best of them. It's 12-8, Richmond. Makes it tough, and when those guys are making threes, it's really hard. Crabtree played on the same AAU program that produced Grant Golden. Idle Rock gets his feet set, and he's able to connect the three-pointer. Time on the shot clock. Shot clock at seven. Horvath along the baseline has it blocked away, but Bean is there to lay it in. Steve Goodrich and then Chris Young under Bill Carmody was that way too. They could all pass yep. and they could all shoot. Those back cuts. By the way, Dorius really has been a revelation with the way he's played inside. Golden, another three. How about that? It's a seven point game, 40 to 33. Jones to the corner, Horvath for three, it's good, and Utah State takes the lead, 44-43. The hand off the first opportunity in the system. And Golden got perfect position against Bean to get some daylight and lay it in. Playing a little bit more here, Ryland Jones was left wide open, and he's able to lay it in to give Utah State a five-point lead. And Utah State off the dribble. Burton for three, it's good. That is a high arcing shot. I think he knew that was good once it left his head. Well, Gilliard gives him 13 points. And Horvath answers with a three of his own, 74-68. Before, which was his dad's college number. I'm sure he's making dad proud here tonight. And a two-headed exclamation point to make it 83-71. Half to play, and that will do it. Utah State rushes aside their opening loss to Cal Davis to win it 85 to 74.